Look, I think into the election, if we keep kind of with this more recent theme um, where the sense is that Hillary is just gradually gaining ground, get, gradually gaining ground, cementing her lead across more polls and in more states, um, the natural kind of macro consequence of that, of course, is political risk is diminishing and it really just, you know, gives a bright green light for the Fed to hike in December. Um, so that's consistent with just this grinding period of US dollar strength we've seen you know, start to emerge over the past couple of weeks. Now, we had some fairly significant action, Richard, coming out of the bond market. We saw the sell-off in the bonds starting in Europe, of course, and, but it did follow through over to the States overnight. A couple of reasons for that. Some stronger-than-expected growth numbers, GDP numbers coming, at, coming out of the UK surprised many, I think, uh, uh, based on the fact they came out following the Brexit uh, uh, vote. Also, easing expectations for another rate cut in the UK. When it comes to the bond market, where do you see the opportunities here? Look, I think bond yields still have a bit further to increase. In fact, if you, if you made a list of all the reasons to buy bonds this year, almost all of them have shown some kind of um, you know, deterioration in, in those bullish bond drivers. As you say, um, the Bank of England's kind of introduced QE program after Brexit, you, you know, with hindsight, doesn't seem necessary at all as the economy outperforms. Um, commodity prices based, and that's starting to feed through to some stronger inflation numbers, at least in headline terms. Um, the Fed has been very cautious all year, but it seems pretty clear they want to hike in relatively soon. Um, and even in kind of uh, policy land, um, the Bank of Japan clearly has shifted away from a super easy policy stance towards a stance which is more targeting the yield curve. And even, you know, we spoke about Chinese property a little bit earlier, even when it comes to China, expectations for China this year were for some sort of you know, continued meaningful slowdown in the domestic economy, and that hasn't happened either. In fact, if anything, it's gone the other way. Um, so all of that, I think, says bond yields still have a somewhat further to go in, in this sell-off, um, and that's going to continue to strengthen the dollar a bit, I think, over the next couple of weeks.